Hi, in this video I'm going to repair a 15 year old Casablanca ceiling fan in less than five minutes and for less than one dollar. The contents of this video I will show you what you need to do this repair, we'll troubleshoot and identify the problem, remove the circuit board, remove the bad resistor and install a new resistor, and we will reassemble and test the product make sure it works like new. But first I have to say why I made this video. I called Casablanca and asked for the specifications of the bad resistor I found. They told me it was proprietary information and offered to sell me a replacement circuit board for $106. But I'm not going to pay that. I'd rather pay $0.67. Cents. So now I'm going to show you how to repair the circuit board in five minutes for less than $1. And I have to thank Casablanca customer service for the inspiration. I hope you guys enjoy the money you're not going to get from me. What you're going to need to do this repair is a 1000 ohm resistor, a soldering iron, low wattage, some 6040 uh, small diameter solder, desoldering braid or something to suck up the solder, multimeter, pliers, and cutter. So step one, we'll troubleshoot the problem. The problem with this fan is there's no power to the light and fan. It just doesn't work. So we test the wall switch first and the power supply. Then we test the power at the fan, and if power is present going into the fan, then we need to test the fan itself. So we take the fan down after we de-energize the circuit, make sure we don't get shocked, remove the shroud from and expose the circuit board, and we're going to take a look at the circuit board. And in this picture, we can see the, the uh, motor unit with the circuit board attached in this assembly um, when the shroud is removed. Two screws hold it on to the motor unit, and uh, there's a ribbon cable, and then there's a, a power cord or a wiring harness that also needs to be detached. So we'll detach the ribbon cable and the wiring harness, uh, remove the fasteners, set those aside so you don't lose them, take a look at the board, and pay particular attention to the 1000 ohm resistor that's by the wiring harness uh, connector. Here's a uh, picture of the uh, assembly itself, um, and on here you can see that there's still a ribbon uh, cable that is hardwired onto the both boards. The small board is the one we're going to work on. And in this picture, I'm testing the bad resistor with a multimeter. Uh, the resistor is failed open, therefore it shows infinite resistance. And we verify also that the other resistors are working. There's a 425 uh, ohm resistor right next to that. And in this picture, we're using the uh, long nose pliers to pinch the plastic uh, mounting pins that stick up through the board uh, and then we will pull this board off of the uh, bracket. So step three we're going to remove the bad resistor. We'll use the uh, solder wick over the connection, heat it up, draw the solder into the wick. We may have to do this more than once. In this uh, case I did it about four times to clear the hole completely. Uh, we'll push the resistor out and the holes will remain open. And here's a picture of uh, using the desoldering braid on top of the connection on the back side of the board. We apply the heat on top of the braid, and you can see the solder flow into the braid. Uh, like I said, we will do this several times. Step four, installing the new resistor. We'll bend the resistor to fit the holes, put the resistor through the holes, bend the leads 45 degrees on the other side so it doesn't fall out. And then we will place the tip of the soldering iron against the leads to draw the solder up and follow the heat. In this picture, I show holding the soldering iron on the lead above, not touching the board. And then we would apply the solder uh, on the other side of the lead so that it goes around, seals the hole, and gives a good electrical connection. And after cutting off the leads flush with the board, we put it back over the pins, the plastic mounting pins, and you can see we have our resistor back in place. And we're ready to reinstall the entire assembly.
and we used the multimeter to test. We tested it. It was indeed a 1000 ohm functional resistor. Use the two mounting screws, reattach it to the uh, motor, and then remount the fan. And uh, we'll give a final test and energize to see if it works. In this case, it worked perfectly. So congratulations. By spending 84 cents for a resistor and about five minutes of your time following these directions, you saved yourself $106 for a new circuit board. Now, go take that $105.16 and 